Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mama Brooke here. Um, it's my girlfriend Claire's birthday today, so happy birthday, Claire. Um, I'm going to make a banana cake for her. She's going to come for lunch tomorrow. We're going to have a little luncheon. And I'm going to pull out those spanakopitas I made the other day. And uh, I'm going to make chicken souvlaki with them. Now I have a great cheat for chicken souvlaki and I'm going to let you go. I'm going to show you guys later what I do because I'm going to make the kebabs up tonight and let them marinate. Now, um, I, I usually make my own tzatziki sauce, which is just literally goat yogurt, some garlic. I put a little dill in it. And then of course I grate a cucumber and, and, you know, squeeze the water out of it and mix that in. And that's nice to make the night before as well. So, I'm going to make her birthday cake, which is a banana um, coconut cake. My girlfriend Gail gave me the recipe years ago. She used to bring it to all our potlucks. So, um, and it was always a hit, or I loved it. So I'm glad I found the recipe this morning. So I'm going to make that up for her. I was going to make either a lemon uh, blueberry drizzle or that. And she picked banana coconut, which is all fine. I like both. It's all good. Now, last night I was in the garden downstairs because I have some kind of bug or something on my cherry tree and now going into the other trees. So I was sitting there looking and I thought I had what's called gypsy moss. So this elderly gentleman was walking by and he said to me, if you don't mind me asking, what are you looking at? And I said, oh, I think I have gypsy moss, but I phoned a pest control guy and he said, well, if you have gypsy moss, the whole neighborhood has them, so don't worry about it. But now I'm seeing ladybugs. So he said, no, you have what's called aphids on your, your trees. And then you had larva, which looked like a little, you know, wormy thing or caterpillar thing. Now turning into ladybugs, he said, let nature take its course. Let nature, um, you know, they'll eat the, the aphids and then, you know, everything will be fine. He said, the only thing about having fruit trees, it definitely is they have disease problems all the time. If it ain't one thing, it's another. Roses can be like that as well too, I find. So I used to have this beautiful rose arbor and then something got on it and it was toast. Um, so I did get all the gardening done this morning and got all that done. I cleaned off the front porch, um, dusted everything down there, dusted the mailboxes, hosed everything down. Uh, turned the hose on myself. I was covered in mud. It fell down on the ground and came back up into my face. Um, the side garden is north facing and it's very dry because it doesn't get a lot of sun and the grass doesn't grow well there. I always say I'm going down to cut the weeds because that's basically what it is on that side. The front of the house is looking pretty good though. Anyways, I am going to go out for my little walk and walk up here and see what I can find uh, to, to add to my for my little luncheon tomorrow. I'll let you guys follow Follow along when I figure out what I am going to make. I think that's what I'm going to do, the spanakopita with the souvlaki. But I need a few more ingredients for the cake. So I'd like you to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep saying that. Oh, hit the notification bell. You can push that. It's not hard. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe, guys. Just like and subscribe. I need all the followers I can get. Like I said, I'm very new at this. I'm trying my hardest. I think every day it gets a little better and I'm really enjoying it. So I hope that you guys will like and subscribe because I'm going to keep saying it because it's sexy times to tell everybody that because, you know, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, um, I thought I was videotaping, you know, I'm so new, you know I am, I'm green, it's all good, I thought I was videotaping, but all I did was cut up some chicken, I took two chicken breasts, and I washed them in some lemon, and then I pat them dry, and then I cut them into cubes, and I put them in, um, in, a, in a plastic container for overnight, because I don't make my own marinade anymore for souvlaki. And I told you earlier that I was going to tell you what I do. I buy this uh, marinade already made. It's from a company called President's Choice. Um, if you're in Canada, you know who that is. If you're not in Canada, it's a company that makes sauces from all over the world. They've traveled the world, got the best recipes, and then they make these sauces up. It's either called Loblaws, Zares, I think Independence. It's a chain, and it's all through Canada. So I do use their sauce. Now, they haven't sponsored me or anything. Oh, I act like I'm somebody on YouTube, but it's all good. No, I'm, but I am 
I am talking about them and I would love to be sponsored by them one day because I use a few of their sauces. Now this one here that I use is um, souvlaki and I used maybe a quarter of it for the two chicken breasts because I really want it to marinate them good overnight. So that's from President's Choice. Now in your neighborhood or your country you might have something else or you can just google a recipe for a souvlaki. It's not hard. It's just nice that it's already done and this costs like um, maybe three dollars two dollars fifty cents it's not expensive and it goes a long way like if I was to have a big party I, I I might use the bottle but for that price you can afford to and it's on sale all the time so anyways that's that I have it in a dish here marinating as you can see and tomorrow I'm gonna get up and make the kebab so I just marinated it like that maybe you can't see oh, there you go then you can see in here and when I get up in the morning I'll put them into kebabs. I haven't taken my Spanica pita out. I will in the morning. And uh, hopefully it cools down and I'll make the cake tonight and I'll videotape that. So thank you for your time today. I had a lovely day. It's Saturday. I hope you guys did too. And I'm a little tired. I cleaned my house. I did a lot of gardening, some weed weeding, pardon me. And I'm feeling a little parched now. I'm not, I'm really thirsty. I don't know why I've been drinking like crazy. I drank about two big bottles of water today or glass jars. I don't really buy bottled water. I don't like anything plastic really. I have about five of these containers and I use them for meats. And that's the only reason why I heat them is because they're good to store meats in and stuff if I'm marinating. Uh, and then I wash them out with vinegar and use them again. I'm not a plastic person. I recycle a lot. I reuse, I reduce. And you'll see that as I go along. I'm not into waste. I have maybe one small uh, kitchen catcher a week of garbage and the rest is recycling, compost and stuff. So I do my best. My daughter taught me well when she was in kindergarten. She came home and she said, Mommy, we have to recycle. You know, but back in the 80s, we didn't know what that was, right? So it's all good. I've learned a lot from going along and uh, now I do my best at it. I see a lot of people have a lot of waste and you know in Toronto you only get garbage every two weeks but I see people with like all kinds of garbage tags on their garbage and everything else and I'm thinking you're just wasteful. So um, but I, I'm minding my business. I'm just doing my part. Okay so like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great evening. Ciao.